assembly with the family trust. I was just thinking about some things then. Did you know, I'm thinking about some amazing facts that I've learned about the human brain. Let's see if I can remember them to tell you. Now, what was that first fact? Oh yeah, that was it. Did you know that the average human brain has 48.6 thoughts every second? That adds up to a staggering 70,000 thoughts a day. Wow. Now, what was that second fact that I learnt? Let me think. Oh yes, I remember. Did you know that our brains are made up of 73% water? Wow. Huh. What was the third thing? Oh, I remember, yes. Did you know that your brain can see and understand an image, even if it only sees it, for 13 milliseconds? That's less time than it takes you to blink. Huh. And the last fact, what was that last fact? Ooh. Oh yes, I remember. Nobody's absolutely sure about this one, but at the latest estimate, scientists think that the average brain has got 86 billion cells in it. Wow. Zack was out on the field one day watching his mates play footy. Zack didn't want to join in. He didn't think he was very good at football. His friends were really good and they played all the time. He thought he wouldn't be able to keep up with them. They were so much better than him. No one had ever said that to him though. He just felt he wasn't as good. Zack's best friend, Ted, really wished Zack would join in and play football with them. Zack always sat at the side and watched, but never played. Ted thought Zack would be really good at football if he joined in, but he wasn't sure what to say or how to say it. Ted decided to talk to Zack, but he knew he would need to do it in the right way. One day, while he was thinking about it, he remembered something his nan had taught him. She used to say, it's good to think before you speak, Ted. Is what you are going to say true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And most of all, is it kind? Ted really wanted Zack to feel confident to join in. He thought carefully about what he was going to say and hoped Zack would understand. The next time they all went to the field, Ted went to sit with Zack while the others started the football game. Ted turned to Zack and said, Zack, why don't you come and join in with us today? I think you would be really good at football. We could do with someone who's a quick runner. Why don't you consider joining the team? I reckon you'll love it once you get started. Would you like to join my team today? Zack was really happy that Ted had invited him to join in and he felt more confident after hearing Ted's kind words. OK, said Zack, I'll give it a go. The two friends walked out on the field together and the game began. Afterwards, Zack was glad he decided to join in. It turned out he was better than he thought he was. He was so pleased he had listened to Ted and been brave enough to join in. Ted said he would enjoy it once he got started. Ted was right. It was good that Ted spoke to Zack and even better that Ted chose to think first. T. Is it true? H. Is it helpful? I. Is it inspiring? N. Is it necessary? K. Is it kind? Did you know that our thoughts affect the way we act? So if we think kind things, it helps us to do kind things. So we can use our brains to think about ways to be kind and helpful. Like in the story, the person who was kind to that other person. We can also think about ways to be kind to the world we live in. So that's what I want you to do now. I want you to take a moment to think about those things with your brains. You might want to close your eyes because I want you to think about, first of all, what could you do that is kind and helpful for other people? And I also want you to think about what could you do that is kind to our world? Something you could do to help our world. When you're worried about something, or when you've got something big or important to think about, 
as a Christian, I believe that it really helps if I pray to God. That's because praying helps me to focus my thoughts on God. And when I do that, it helps me to think about other things in the right way too. So we're going to have a prayer now. And if you agree with my prayer, you can say Amen at the end. A great big Amen if you like, because Amen just means I agree. Dear God, please help us to be kind and helpful to other people and to our world. Thank you that when we pray to you, it helps us to think about things in the right way. Amen. Wonderful. Now we're just going to finish off our assembly by having a look in our mystery box over here. We're going to find out what is in our mystery box. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look. It is a brain. Ew, looks a bit yucky. But there's a brain there to help us remember that we can use our brains to think carefully about things. Bye. See you next time.